Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a master project in Microsoft Project. You can use master projects to handle and open up multiple projects within the same project schedule so that you can compare and kind of have a master schedule, if you like, or a program with multiple projects within it. There's a couple of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you a couple of them and a couple of uses for this uh, this kind of approach to project management. So first thing I'm going to do is open up a brand new blank project schedule. So you do it for our new blank project. And in here, I'm going to insert two existing projects that I already have. Okay, so the couple of projects that I'm running, I can open them up in this master project, quote unquote. To do that, we come to the project ribbon and we click sub project. You probably wondered what that was for a while. I'm going to click on ABC project and XYZ project and insert both of those into here. So I can see they are both inserted into this project schedule. You can see that this is a project was inserted, read write from that particular file location. I can expand this out. So when I do this, open resource pool information. This file shares resources with the resource pool. What do you want to do? Do you want to open the resource pool and see the assignments across all the share files? Yes, I do. That's okay. Okay. What happened there was I had a resource pool file in the background where both of those projects were sharing a particular resource pool. So when I opened both of them up, it was pulling from here. If you want to see information about how to create a shared resource pool, take a look at my previous video, which was how to create a shared resource pool across multiple projects. We'll consider that you know how to do that and we're sharing the resources across multiple projects. So let me go back here and we can see ABC project and ABC, XYZ and ABC. And I can expand both of those out and see what's going on. I can actually see that I have a resource that is over allocated across both of those projects based on the fact that I'm sharing that resource pool. I can manage those projects. I can link the two together. So I can say that task five is dependent to task one. Click on the task ribbon and link those two together. Now I'm pushing out the dates. So I've put a pie between the two projects and you can see in the predecessors column saying it will tell you that this particular project is now linked to a project that is in this file location, line five within that project. Pretty cool, right? If you're wondering how you got that entry bar, you can get that by going file, options, display, entry bar. Quick little tip, you learn lots here, right? If you like that, please mention it in the comments. That would help me to know if people like little Easter eggs within my videos. All right, so you can see we're managing the projects side by side. At this point, I can save this master project with the sub project within it. Or I can just close it out and come back to it later. But if I was to save it as a master or close it out, it will actually ask me, do you want to save the changes you've made to those individual schedules? So. Think of it like this. These two projects are real live projects. I've actually edited that project through this master project. I still made changes to it. I've linked tasks, etc. So if I save this master project, if I like, I'm going to say save as, browse. I'm going to put it in my Microsoft project folder. There it is. I'm going to call it master. And save it. And now it's asking me, do I want to save the changes that I made to ABC project? Yes. I could say yes to all and save all the projects. If you had 10 of them, yes, 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 10 times. So yes to ABC and XYZ. Do I want to update my resource pool? Yes, I do. To reflect that I've done that, made that change. Job done. So if I was to close out this master now, close it, close this as well and close my resource pool and then open up my XYZ project. There it is. 
Again, it's saying I've got my resource pool, so I want to open it. Yes, I do. And I can see, I, I kind of think of this as a ghost task. In fact, if I insert the predecessor column, we're able to see five there. So you can see that this particular task has a successor, in fact. So we are linked to this other project, line three. You can see that here. So it kind of just shows you task one within the other project. And it's a successor, right? Opposite of predecessor is a successor. If I was to open up the ABC project, I would see the predecessor column and it would be task five of the XYZ project. Hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.